your car is spying on you for the insurance company, says an angry Senator Markey from Massachusetts, and it's happening in other states, too. And the state law in Rhode Island may not be enough to stop them. Here's NBC10 I-Team reporter Tamara Sikarsik with what she discovered. Automakers and data brokers have partnered for years, typically with the permission of consumers who sign off on lengthy privacy policies. Most consumers aren't reading all that fine print, so they don't realize it's happening or that it could be used against them. When you speed, slam the brakes, or accelerate, your insurance company could be watching. What's been happening in this case is that General Motors and some other companies have been collecting the data and providing it to a data broker. And then insurance companies have been using that to set the prices for the auto insurance for drivers without giving them a heads up or letting them know that that was going on. Data collected by your car's internet enabled features is gathered, then sold by certain automakers. Is this legal? Well, it's probably legal. Uh, but it's alarming and concerning. Christopher Lefebvre is a consumer attorney in Rhode Island, a state that he tells me is known for weak consumer protection laws. This is very likely happening in Rhode Island. We have no realistic consumer protection act. So it's going to be the wild, wild west in Rhode Island, unlike our neighbors in Massachusetts, who have a very thorough and comprehensive Consumer Protection Act. Rhode Island did beef up its consumer protection statute in 2021, giving state prosecutors the power to pursue consumer protection cases, but that's not available to private attorneys. Thinking that our consumer protection statute is going to save the day on this issue just is not going to happen. I found Rhode Island is also lacking in other areas. While some states like consumers opt out of the sale of their personal information to third parties, Rhode Island and Massachusetts do not. That's why I've asked the Federal Trade Commission to conduct a comprehensive study of what the automobile and insurance industry are doing in collusion to then punish drivers. Massachusetts U.S. Senator Ed Markey raised his own concerns after sending data collection questions to 14 automakers, most admitted to collecting data, but not whether they profit from it. General Motors even acknowledged to using seatbelt data to know when a passenger is in the car and potentially who it is if that passenger has created their own profile for the vehicle's infotainment system. How does something like that become concerning down the road? We will without question see insurance companies now start denying liability for coverage when someone doesn't have a seat belt on. Markey yeah, worries this could become even more invasive. Companies. We need to make sure that this very unfair and deceptive practice by the auto industry in partnership with the insurance industry comes to an end. Markey has been waiting since February for a response from the FTC. You're probably wondering at home if this is happening to you. You can actually request a free report from data broker LexisNexis to see if your driving habits are being tracked. I've posted that link on our website. That's turn to 10.com. For the NBC 10i team, I'm Tamara Sikarczyk.